Which should we be more afraid of, sharks or horses? Before we answer that, let's consider two more questions. Which kills more people each year, car accidents, homicide, and suicide combined, or cancer? And are there more English words that start with the letter R, or do they have R as a third letter? When answering questions like these offhand, we tend to think in terms of examples and assume that the more examples we can remember, the more common a thing is. Unfortunately, we remember some things much more easily than others, so this availability heuristic can lead us to make really bad assessments of risk. Things that are more commonly and vividly shown in the media, like a violent murder, will be a lot easier to remember than things that are far more common in real life, but aren't as dramatic, like a cancer patient dying peacefully at home. Likewise, thinking of things in familiar ways, like alphabetical order, is a lot easier than new ways, like third letter order. But if we actually count the words, this intuition turns out to be wrong. More than twice as many words have R as the third letter than first letter. We can see this same effect happening in public policy. Americans spend 25 times more money fighting terrorism than fighting cancer, even though cancer kills almost 2,000 times as many people. Both policymakers and the public who elect them remember dramatic episodes of terrorism much more readily than boring statistics about cancer. And that's how priorities are set. The only way to avoid this availability bias is to decide based on statistics, not the news. We just can't trust our intuition to realistically calculate risks. So which causes more deaths, Jaws or My Little Pony? Sorry sharks, horses are the real killers. If you like this video, please share it and subscribe for updates. You can follow and contact us at Google+, Twitter, and Facebook, CogSci. To ask questions or suggest topics for future episodes, go to cogsci.com Q.